Uh, good afternoon, everyone. My name is Myron Thompson, Chief Administrative Officer with the Town of uh, Black Falls. Uh, I'm joined by Mayor Richard Poole and uh, Ken Morrison. Ken is our Emergency Management and Protective Services Manager. Uh, we're here today to update you on the various efforts of uh, staff and council who've been working hard to, in order to assist our residents and businesses in uh, this unprecedented time. I want to start off by advising everyone that the town's top priority uh, continues to be that of the health, well-being of not only of our public but our employees as well. We uh, therefore will continue to main our more essential, most essential services that our residents uh, can rely on. In recent days, both the federal and provincial governments uh, have announced funding programs to assist Canadians through these trying times. This past Tuesday, our council voted to also assist by waiving the 5% penalty assessed on unpaid utility bills and 1.5% penalty applied on unpaid property tax bills over the next three month period. Specifically for utility bills that would apply to March, April and May 2020, while property tax bills would apply to April, May and June of 2020. Residents and businesses uh, who are experiencing financial hardships due to the COVID-19 pandemic may apply for this relief and can do so uh, by uh, accessing, uh, the, uh, accessing the Town of Black Falls uh, website and under Town Services, Administration, Tax and Utility Penalty Exempt Application, uh, find all the information that you need as well as the application form. We have also extended the closures of our town facilities uh, to May 15th, 2020, but staff can still be reached by our telephone contacts that you can find on our website and you will be assisted um, and uh, in matters relating to municipal operations. Also, if you have a membership at the Abbey Center, have made a facility booking, registered for programs, or are looking for other information, please visit the Abbey Center's website on our website, uh, blackfalls.com slash Abbey Center. Garbage recycling pickup is currently done uh, with one pass. Uh, due to the fact that the recycling uh, materials handling facility is closed due to uh, high risk involved in sorting materials. Uh, the transfer site uh, does remain open, but for everyone's sake that we ask that you keep a safe distance from staff and that you plan ahead and uh, do not expect any assistance in loading of materials uh, when you arrive at the site. We're all doing the best we can under the circumstances and appreciate the compliance of our citizens. Should you have any concerns, both Council and I are here to assist you. I will now turn it over to Mayor Richard Poole who has some heartwarming and positive news to share with you. Your Worship. Thank you, CEO Thompson. Good afternoon, Black Falls. First of all, let me thank all of you who are working so hard to make our community first. I'd like to give a special shout out to the first responders, the doctors, the nurses, who are out there fighting for the well-being of Canadians. I know that I don't speak for just myself, but for many people when I say that we have the utmost respect and gratitude for those of you on the front lines during this pandemic. Folks, in times of crisis, even one as unprecedented as this, we can see the best of people. The town staff has seen many messages of hope in windows and on sidewalks, and it helps them to remain positive and working to maintain essential services. I know that many of you have reached out to find out how you can help. At this time, and because social distance is so important, I would like to encourage you to donate to the ATB Cares at www.atbcares.ca. All donations go to the food bank. Our family and community support services staff have partnered with the food bank and the After the Grind, and we are happy to announce that we will be implementing the Black Falls Lunchbox Program for children's school and lunches and healthy lunches. This will happen two times each week. Generous local companies are helping us out. Residents, companies, and businesses have so far donated over 15,000 to this initiative. It's an encouraging picture how everyone comes together in times of great need. To access this program, please connect with Black Falls SESS at 403-600 9066. The Alberta government is providing funds to charities, nonprofits, and civic society organizations through the Family Community Support Services. 
and this will provide help and support in their COVID-19 response. This funding will be provided immediately and will support social services in enabling social distancing, as well as supports and services for at-risk seniors and families facing homelessness, poverty, and social isolation. Lacombe Ford is stepping up and has recently announced they are offering free delivery services within Lacombe, Black Falls, Clive and Bentley. If you are in isolation or at risk to be put in the public, call them and they will pick up your groceries, pharmacy or other essentials. For more information, go to Lacombe Ford Facebook page or their website. You know, while seeing the empty streets and playgrounds and schools is disheartening, it's also a comfort to know that we are all doing what we can by practicing social distancing and self-isolation. I'm confident that if we continue to follow the guidelines put forth by the Alberta province and AHS, we will soon flatten the curve and everything will get back to normal. I also encourage you to drive by our Tails Water Park, which is once again lit up with lights. And this is to help spread some additional cheer be safe, stay healthy, and thank you for your continued patience and understanding. I will now ask Emergency Management and Protective Services Manager Ken Morrison to share his updates on the latest emergency management plans. Ken. Thank you very much, Your Worship. Hello, Hello everyone. everyone. Our emergency management team is continuing to meet every other day with a focus on providing essential services. Maintaining communication between all departments and ensuring residents are kept informed. Our emergency management team continues to operate from various offices throughout the town to ensure we are maintaining social distancing. We have not yet opened our emergency coordination center, but it is set up ready to go in the event that we need it. We have several town staff who are currently self-isolating, but are continuing to work at home to ensure we provide the services residents are depending on. As we've all seen in the past few weeks, this is a very fluid situation and is requiring us to make new decisions on a daily basis. And I would like to encourage everyone to keep following the updates on our webpage, blackfalls.com slash news. We continue to update the dedicated coronavirus webpage at blackfalls.com slash COVID-19. I know that some residents have voiced their concern with keeping the parks and playgrounds open. Our decision was based on encouraging people to enjoy the outdoors and allowing youth to burn off some energy. Signage has been posted at all parks and playgrounds, reminding all of the COVID-19 threat. We cannot stress enough, wash your hands, wipe surfaces, and please ensure you maintain social distance. Please ensure your children are made aware of these important rules. I would also, while we're talking about children and many of us are now at home, our fire department has been receiving many alarm calls, more than normal. I would encourage parents and children to be very aware when they're cooking on the stoves to ensure that they stay near the stove and ensure that they're aware of what is cooking and how long it's cooking for. And also to contact your alarm company right away should your alarm accidentally go off. We need to maintain our fire department for the emergency calls. Thank you to our residents for staying calm, staying supportive, and reaching out and supporting those who are in need. It has been incredible to witness the last few weeks. This community has come together to do their part in getting us through this. As Mayor Poole mentioned, there's been businesses as well as individuals volunteering to do pickups for people who can't get out. People leaving encouraging messages on sidewalks, painting windows. It is times like this, those little things can make a difference to an individual, a family, and the community as a whole. I would encourage all of you, when you're out walking, please give a friendly wave, smile to our town staff, 
public works, community service departments, and emergency services. They're working extra hard, ensuring the essential services continue to run. That wave, that smile might just make their day. Stay safe, practice social distancing, and clean hygiene. Let's continue to work together and look out for each other. By coming together as a community, we will all get through this together. Thank you very much and have a good evening.